All right. So today we are going to be so excited to talk about gut health. And I, um, I believe that the gut is the gateway to all of our health issues. Maybe not all of them, but pretty big, huge portion of them. And I feel that you are what you eat. And so if you have dandruff, uh, lots of autoimmune issues all the way to cancer, it doesn't matter. We really want to go through and really help heal our gut and get our gut back in good, good standing so that it can be strong and help us fight whatever we're dealing with. And so I'm going to go through, like Praveen was mentioning, my class tends to be more geared towards the United States food and issues and stuff like that. Now that I've been learning, I've been to India. Oh my goodness. We can really uh, probably add a lot more India stuff to it because uh, I don't think we're that much difference, to be honest. Um, your foods tend to be a little bit more spicy, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and just get started here. Can you guys see everything okay? <clears throat> and um, let's see here. My internet seems to be a little bit slow or jumpy today. So anyway, this is a series of gut issues that we like to talk about. Um, and I have a couple series that we go through, but this is a real good one that you can share with all of your friends and family. If they're dealing with something, it's a, I like to talk about, oh my gosh, all these crazy American terrible foods, right? Like look at the French fries, um, soda pop, chocolate, sugar, everything. This is just like, we wonder why we have such bad stomachs. <laughs> um, so I wanted to say that, um, you know, really what is your stomach trying to tell you? I'm gonna say that most of you probably think that your stomach is fine. And I'm going to tell you that it probably isn't. You know, if you have a weight gain issue, if you have extreme fatigue, if you're having mental clarity issues, um, I like to call it brain fog. I can always tell when my stomach's not happy is when I have a hard time putting sentences together. <laughs> um, you know, we should have two bowel movements a day. And a lot of people I talk to, you know, they say, Sometimes it's not for two or three days, and that is not healthy, you guys. And if you're dealing with emotional upset, like if you have a depression and imbalances in your emotions, that actually is coming from your gut. And um, I would like to also say if you could put uh, any questions that you have in the chat, and I have Huke Lee and Joseph and Praveen and all you guys, Sagar, who's on here, you guys um, can answer a lot of those questions if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on that for me so we can stay on top of it. That would be fabulous. Um, you know, our stomach is, is doing its best to digest those foods. And we don't realize that it's kind of like when you put a frog in cold water and then you turn the water on slowly and heat the frog up, he won't jump out. He will boil to death. And I really feel that that's what's going on in our stomach. You, you eventually get used to those stomach pains, heartburn becomes common, you have gas, all these things really become a common thing and you don't realize that your stomach is out of whack. Many people um, have talked to me even about serious things about some women wanna get pregnant and they're not able to get pregnant. It is one of the signs of having poor absorption of nutrients. And one of those things of being infertility is actually, let's go and heal the gut. Yeah, it's a different part of the body, right? But it's still, all these things are really dealing with getting the nutrients into our body. So I was dealing with this terribly. This is why I, I do doTERRA is because I, Larry and I had a print shop. And our print shop for 28 years was a constant stress deadlines, deadlines, people making mistakes and ongoing issues all the time. And, you know, we have to deal with humanality and technology, up, you know, changing, equipment changing all the time. It was very difficult to be um, on top of it. Um, pretty soon I was not sleeping that night. I was gaining weight and couldn't figure out why when I was eating hardly anything. And I was really having brain fog that was just incredible. Like I would, 
I remember one time I was taking an order and I hung up the phone and I even forgot who I was talking to and what the order was. And I sat there and I just started crying. It's like, I can't do this anymore. Like something is seriously wrong. And I was going to doctors and doctors and doctors taking tests and stomach tests and female tests and all these different things. And they could not find anything wrong with me. They said, there's nothing wrong with you, Becky. You're making it up. Go see a psychologist. And I hear so many stories of people having doctors tell them that they're making it up. Like they don't, they don't believe them. And that is so wrong. Like we know our bodies, you know, better than the doctor does, right? We know that there's something not, not right. And finally, I went to a naturopath doctor. Now, naturopath doctors are becoming more and more common here in the United States. But for a long time, they were considered quack doctors. You guys in India are so smart. You have, you know, you understand Ayurvedic medicines more than the United States does. So, but I went to this naturopath doctor and she took a blood test that showed all these food allergies. And this page, this book, this, this test that she took was like four or five pages long. And I just wanted to show you part of it, but like, this is why I have a hard time in India. I'm, I'm allergic to rice. I'm allergic to soy. I'm allergic to wheat. I'm allergic to corn, almonds, and look at dairy. I can't do all the wonderful, beautiful sauces that you guys make is all out of wonderful dairy. I can't digest that. And so, um, you know, we wonder what I'm going to go through and say, why, why does this happen? What, where do these allergies come from? And so we're going to go through and talk about a lot of that today. Here is a picture of inside our stomach lining. And I really like to explain that when you eat food and it goes down into your digestive tract, you have these little fingers inside your stomach lining that wiggle. I don't know if you can see my picture on the camera, but they wiggle. And um, when you actually go through and eat the food, it goes down into inside your stomach lining and they wiggle to help break down the food. And that's where the nutrients are going to absorb into your bloodstream and move around in your body and feed your organs, feed your brain. And when you have these little villi inside your stomach where they're inflamed, they get inflamed from eating toxic food or they get inflamed from stress. They get inflamed for wearing your body down from not sleeping. And um, these things don't wiggle and move. So the food is not able to digest properly. So here's another picture of this intestinal villi. And when they cut open the stomach and look at a side picture of it, this is a normal healthy villi. So these are the fingers and this is what they look like. But when we start to really become toxic to our bodies, it breaks down and see how they get inflamed. And actually the stomach lining will actually start to break open. And that's what they call leaky gut. And basically celiac disease, Crohn's disease, irritable, irritable bowel dis, uh, syndrome, you know, diabetes, hormone, thyroid, pretty much everything that we're dealing with is because the stomach is not able to process the food and actually create a, a nutritional value to our body. Here's another picture again with inside the stomach lining. This is a, the villi that's been broken down, inflamed, and, um, and it's actually causing a lot of issues inside our stomach, okay? So where does this, why does this happen? Oh my gosh, you guys, we have so much toxicity around in our environment. And especially when we were in India, you know, you look at, um, you know, lots of stuff going on, trash, um, the, the, the um, atmosphere, we've got chemicals in our foods and all around us and the pollution in the cars, you know, as they're driving up and down the streets and all these pollens and pathogens that are in the air from seasonal threats cats, dogs, dander. There's so much that we're intoxicated. One of the slides that I was going to change this, I forgot, but emotion upset is one thing that I really want to talk about too, is that we can actually really create during this pandemic, a lot of people were really upset, fear, worry, anxiety really wears down our body as well. 
So we have these exposure pathways. So basically we breathe in the toxicity, we eat foods that have toxins, and we touch things like our skin is our largest organ in our body. And so this is how all these uh, toxicities uh, are in introduced into our body. Again, we've got stress. So negative attitudes, people who are very negative around you bring down that uh, energy level, right? Mm -hmm. And when we have the feelings of hopelessness, um, we it actually really upsets the um, hormone balance of our bodies and it depletes our brain chemicals, you guys. So this, all this stuff, we need to um, really understand why working with a, a good exercise system and a really good sleep and helping with our stress levels on a daily basis is so incredible. One of the things that we want to also do is look at all the chemicals that we have around in our home. Like these are United States chemicals. So I'm sure you got things similar to, to this in India, like window cleaner, floor cleaner, laundry soap, all these different things that we purchase that are just horrible. <laughs> we never, we think, oh, these are approved by our government, that they're okay for us to use. But seriously, your body actually over time, you know, maybe this one on a limited basis is okay to use from time to time. But when you're using all of these things all the time, it becomes really a toxicity to our body. So if you even look at these um, labels on the back of these um, containers, they have like warning, do not use with other products, may release dangerous gases. Can you believe that? <laughs> so this is a bottle of Clorox, um, which is a bleach, but many of these have these warning labels and danger, harmful or fatal if swallowed. A taste to a teaspoonful taken by mouth could kill an average size adult. And so we're using these chemicals. I know here in the United States, a lot of our water supply resources and wells will dump bleach in the wells. It's like mind blowing. I can't believe that we do that. We want to kill all the parasites and all the bugs and stuff, right? But it's really actually creating more toxicity into our body. So there's a warning label a danger label and a caution label, pretty much all of them say it have the same effects. Harmful swallowed an ounce to over a, a pint, I'm supposed to say pint, taken by a mouth could kill an average size adult. Pretty much the, the symptom is still the same, you know, killing is kind of interesting, <laughs> right? Um, and I don't mean to make a joke out of that. I'm, I just really want to say that this is, this is why we wonder where did the cancer come from? Where do our autoimmune system come from? And we're going to go through even more here and talk about different things. But, you know, prescription drugs really are harmful to our gut. Their gut grenades, the antibiotics. So when you go to the doctor and say, gosh, I got a cold or a flu, you know, a lot of times they'll give you the antibiotics. And they're very damaging to our microbiome, which is the gut lining. And so, you know, I know doctors who prescribe it like it's candy. People, a lot of people, and the more you go to the doctor, my cousin is one of them. He actually ended up having his whole intestines taken out and sewn up. So he has what's called the colostomy bag. He had a really bad issue with, with a thing called C. diff. And C. diff is a over, over, um, over control, over a, um, too much bad bacteria in your gut because the antibiotics are killing the good bacteria too. And you need to be treating your stomach with a lot of good bacteria. When we're talking about um, birth control pills, we're talking about diabetes drugs, we're talking about gallbladder removed. I mean, people have medications that they need to be taking, right? But at the same time, it's actually causing a lot of thyroid conditions um, Hashimoto's disease, you can go through and study why do we have and what's going on in our body with a lot of these different issues. Um, and you can tie it back to a poor gut. So there are 11 ingredients of the worst foods. I mean, 11 of the worst foods and ingredients to avoid. So we're going to go through and talk about those here. 
Sugar of all kinds, you guys. Sugar, 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 sugar. It is, I believe, the most toxic and the most addictive drug out there. Sugar is, it feeds cancer. Sugar's in every single processed food here in the United States. We have, I mean, it doesn't matter. And it's hidden in many different names. They have um, lots of different names that they call sugar. I have a chart too. I don't know if I have it on the slide, but oh my gosh, you guys, sugar, sugar, sugar. And we are addicted. I would challenge you to go off sugar completely and see how hard that is. And then gluten is in a lot of foods. GMO is genetically modified organisms. So I will go into that some more. Artificial flavoring, synthetic trans fats, high fructose corn syrup, MSG, preservatives, dairy. You guys, the reason why dairy is on this list is because it's designed <clears throat> to raise a 100 pound calf to a 1000 pound cow in a year. Cows are a lot heavier than our little human bodies. And when we start taking in these proteins and things from a cow, um, our bodies can't digest it. It's not the same molecule size for our stomachs. Also here in the United States, they feed our dairy cows lots of um, antibiotics, lots of steroids so that the cow will produce more milk. And when I was in India, I noticed that many of you guys are very um, petite and very well, um, your body mass is probably more perfect compared to us United States people. We tend to be more overweight, larger, just um, because of this. I think we have a lot of dairy where we're eating the steroids from the cow and it's making us um, bigger and bulkier, I think. So there's something to talk about called the gut brain connection. The gut brain connection, our gut has more neural pathways to our brain than our brain does to the rest of our body. It's very important to understand that when our gut, you know, they talk about go with your gut instincts. What does the gut tell you? There's a lot to be said with those sayings that it's, um, their enteric nervous system, the ENS, is two thin layers of more than one million nerve cells in your GI tract. And this is a significantly more pathways to your brain than the brain to the gut. You guys, if your gut is not happy, your brain's not thinking. And so you need to be able to recognize your gut is your brain. And when we start treating, like you would take more care of your brain, I think, than you do your gut. Don't you think, Larry? Are you? <laughs> we don't think about our brain as our brain, you know, something we can't. Well, you know, people meditate and pray and stuff like that to, to you know, to bring themselves some calmness and some peace. That's very good. I love that. That's so good. Larry's been doing a lot of meditation lately. It's really kind of fun to, to enjoy that. So. Here's the thing that doTERRA talks about is we like to talk about a proactive medical care. You know, we like to talk about being informed. Um, we, we're not saying that doctors aren't amazing. They are, we can't live without our doctors, but we want to show you guys how to be more proactive in self-care. And what that looks like is by reducing your toxicity. We just talked about tons of different ways that toxins are introduced in our body. And asked after this class, I have an assignment for all of you. So write this down is to walk around your kitchen and walk around your, the rest of your home and look at the different products you have and see what kind of toxicity are being introduced into your home. And that's just your home. I'm not talking about your office space that you are going to start looking at things differently now and seeing if that those toxins are introduced into your body. doTERRA has a beautiful detoxifying uh, program to help cleanse your body and to help rid us uh, get rid of those inflammation those toxicities that cause inflammation. We also have things to help you rest and manage your stress so that that way you can get a really good night's sleep. Praveen and I were talking about that before many of you came on to this class today is that being able to sleep, and managing your stress is so huge and being able to have your body restore itself and to get the energy again and to start the new day. Exercising 
actually get that body moving, get the lymphatic system moving so it can move those toxins, toxins throughout the body. I've noticed since um, we've uh, been doing doTERRA full time, I've been sitting at the computer and it's just like, <clears throat> I become more lethargic. I don't have as much energy. And so I'm introducing a little jumper thing. What do you call that? It's a little rebounder. A rebounder. But even just, you know, bouncing up and down, it, it gets your lymphatic system moving. So important because that's what moves those toxins out of your body. So you could think you're eating right, but if you're not actually moving your body, then those toxins just collect in the little nooks and crannies of your body and it's hard to hard to get them out. That's why one reason, like, like if you've ever had a surgery, one of the first things they like to do is like um, after you, you've, you've done some recovery for a day or so, um, they like to get you up and, and moving, like walking down the hall or something like that. Yeah, so important, you guys. <clears throat> and of course, eating right, um, that's a no-brainer. We're going to talk about these two things here, mostly reducing the toxic load and eating right. So you're asking, well, why are essential oils so such a big part of this? Well, there are three ways you can use essential oils. You can use them aromatically. So we love to put them in a diffuser. And I know many of you guys love, 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 love peppermint, which we all do. I just think that peppermint is just the top amazing oil. And it's sourced in India, which is even more something to be proud of. Um, but it opens up the airways, it cleanses the air, and it affects your emotions. And topically, um, this is a really good way to get it um, on your body so that it can absorb into your body and help go through those fluids, um, the lymphatic system, and just help cleanse the body too. This is a really easy way to apply the oils. Maybe some of the smells may not be as flavorful to, or uh, what do you call it, Dem um, desirable. You could walk around with oregano on and smell like a pizza. <laughs> so you can put it on the bottom of your feet and that's where the largest pores are on your skin and it will absorb beautifully through your body. Yeah. Um, internally is another way we like to put them in a gel capsule. You can put it under your tongue. I also love to rub on guard on the roof of my mouth. And so that's another way to take them internally. The reason why you want to do this is the essential oils can pass through the cell membrane and that's where they do so much beautiful work on our body's behalf. They can contain hundreds of different compounds providing complex and versatile abilities to combat threats without building up a resistance. So basically they're going to, even on the outside of the cell, if you were to zoom in on it, there's receptor sites that are outside the cell. And many of us um, actually will have inflammation on these receptor sites. These receptor sites are what help us with communication from one cell to the next. And if they're inflamed, we're going to have a hard, harder time uh, thinking, harder time losing weight and all that stuff. So these cells are going to be much happier once they get the essential oils. They're going to be energized and they're going to start um, uh, helping with the inflammation. So when we just talked about those three ways that we can use essential oils, we have this elimination pathways in these three areas. So for example, the gut, if we take the oils internally, we can eliminate the toxicities through our stomach, right? So we have the intestinal tract, the urinary system, and then also another area inside us, and I should have a picture of our lungs here, but as a respiratory system, when you're breathing in and breathing out, you're actually taking in toxins and taking them out. Like it's really good to do deep breathing and be able to help cleanse the air pathways and the oxygen in your, in your body. So um, we wonder again, this is something I was talking about, the uh, receptor sites on the outside of the cells. I wanted to show you that this is, I wish this just was next to a hand so you can really see how big this is. <laughs> One pound of fat is actually really big. This is kind of a big little, big thing. And actually one pound of fat is 35 pounds or 3,500 calories. So this picture is showing a cell wall with those receptor sites and um, the fat that's going to be collecting outside those cell walls. 
many toxins are fat soluble. So the body has to deal with these major toxins and your liver gets so, oh, the poor liver, he just has to work so hard to get those toxins. It's a filter system, right? And so um, when we start storing these toxins, you're gonna really want to be able to cleanse the liver. This will be really helpful for getting all those, uh, it's kind of like cleaning the sponge, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I wanted to share with you this cleanse and restore kit. And we're gonna go through and talk about this a little bit more, but this cleanse and restore kit actually is helping us with all of these things inside our stomach. The Zendocrine product is something that's going to be used to cleanse the liver, the pancreas, mm -hmm. the kidneys, the lymphatic system. And we have one that's a cleansing one and one that's a daily support one, okay? We also have a probiotic. We also have a detox system, which called, is called the GX Assist and the Terrazyme. Now, many of you guys, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is you probably only have one or two more opportunities to order this as India is really, really close to opening up. Yay, we should be really excited about that. Um, but this product won't be available. So I'm encouraging you guys to maybe take a, take a time, take this next two orders and um, order this product and have it as an inventory item and just experience it learn about these products. So when they do get announced into India, maybe in a year, it may be two years, you guys, Some sometimes it may take a little bit longer. We just don't know, but you'll have that experience of understanding how amazing these products are so that they'll be really huge and impactful. And even now would be a really great time to encourage your downline, encourage your teams. If you're a guest on here today, this might be something that you might want to experience as well and to see um, what the benefits are. And again, I just wanna say that these products will not be available in India at first. They will come, but um, we're focusing more on the oils. And really when we go through and look at the Zendocrine ingredients, they're all made of the essential oils. So you can actually, Zendocrine will be, actually not the pills, pills, but the oil will be actually a product that will be available in India when they open. Really, okay. Yeah. So this is a, uh, the cleanse and restore checklist. So basically this may seem complicated, but it's actually just every day you just check off a number here and oops. And it's a checklist of going through and helping cleanse and, and support your body. So this is the 30 day program. So the Terrazine and the Zendocrine, you're going to want to take in the morning. Oh man. My hand is warm. <laughs> You're going to want to take one in the morning, the noon, and the evening. So you just check it off, and it just kind of helps you know how to take these products. The doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack is an incredible, um, oh my gosh, I got so many stories to tell you about this product, but um, this product is, we take two pills in the morning and two pills at night of each one. Now, people say that sounds like a lot but it really isn't. These pills are really fluffy. When you go to the store and you buy like a supplement, many times they're very small and glued together. Like there's probably some good ingredients in it, but they're most of the time glued together by an ingredient, by a glue that our stomach cannot break down. And so these are very bioavailable to our body. We have the alpha CRS, which is cellular uh, support, E omegas, which is very, very good fats for feeding our brain and our joints. And then we have the vitamins and minerals, which is really, you know, of course, we need our daily supplements of vitamins and minerals. Then the Zendocrine um, soft gels is another thing to do just for 10 days. This one here is going to really help with um, the daily support. And then the GX Assist, you want to just do this for 10 days on, you know, and they have this as a chart to start on the 11th of the, of the month and the, and the day 12, day 13, day 14. And you're just doing it for 10 days, you guys, just 10 days. Some of you are much <clears throat> smaller people. And so I would actually just start with one pill a day. But if you really want to go after it, maybe if you're dealing with some health issues, then you can really go after it. My notice is that this doesn't, um, 
It's not going to make you run to the bathroom and, and really mess with you. But be, maybe by day five or six, if you're doing three a day, you're going to feel a stomach cramping and stuff, which is really good because it's kicking the side of the walls of your stomach and it's really helping cleanse the, the bad stuff in your, in your gut. And then when you're done taking that on day 21, you want to start with the probiotics and introducing the amazing, beautiful new gut bacteria in your stomach to be able to help break down those foods and get the flora right in your stomach and, and help with that. We also have a product called DDR Prime. And again, the DDR Prime stands for Damaged DNA Repair. And this is just a really great way to support your cells because I don't know if you remember that picture I was sharing with you that is at a, the cellular wall with essential oils can penetrate the cellular wall. Well, that inside your cells where the DNA structure is. And so this is just really incredible to know that it can go in there and, and take a look at the DNA and do your body some real amazing things there. So again, if you're looking for weight management, this is just a ray, really great way to start. And again, we talked about the CRS, the, the supplements here. And um, I would, if I were you, I so want to encourage you to try to get these on your order, on your loyalty reward order if you're a current customer. And if you haven't joined yet, we will go ahead and show you some great ways to get these products in your life. Just for, again, it's just going to be for a couple months um, until India opens up, but some of you might want to stock up. Um, again, they're full of nutrients and um, they're, they help you with energy. I'm always so amazed on how much better I feel when I'm taking these on a regular basis. Um, when I travel, I've traveled before and forgot my supplements, which was terrible. And, and I noticed that, but thank goodness we've remembered to take them to India with us, right? And then free radicals, um, they help support that now cancer you know, one of the time, one of the reasons why we tend to get cancer is your cells um, are over energized and having issues with that. And this is just a really great way to really help with inflammatory responses. Okay. Now, digestion or Zengest um, in different markets, it's going to be called different just because of the copyright of the name and so forth. But um, we have, this is, this is including ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon fruit, and fennel. And when you're having digestive issues, heartburn, gas, bloating, this is going to really help with supporting your gut. This is like a staple for me. When I, when I realized my food allergies, this, this oil here was the only oil I used for a couple months. And oh my gosh, just this one oil made a huge difference. The reason why you're seeing it in a pill form is just a more convenient way to take it internally. Um, but you know, you can just get this, the digestion. The digestion will be available in India when India opens up. And also this is a digest tab. It's kind of like an anti- um, 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 kind of heartburn relief kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause it's, it's a, it's a, it's a dry tab that you chew a little bit chalky, but, but, but similar to, you know, an over the counter uh, Tums or something like that, except it's got the oils in it. So it's much better for your um, gastrointestinal system. Yeah. Here is the GX assist. And just to taking a closer look at this, it's including oregano, melaleuca, lemon, lemongrass, and peppermint. And thyme, thyme is a huge oil for helping cleanse the body. And um, people who had, uh, were dealing with COVID, for example, thyme oil is just a wonderful oil to have in your, in your toolbox for those kinds of things. Um, so this, is a, this blend may improve the microbial balance in your gut. So what it's going to do is the bad bacteria in your gut is called candida. And candida is going to get rid of all the candida, which is what has you really crave sugar. And it really has you, this is going to help um, with your metabolic balance too. So if you have highs and lows throughout your day where you get tired and you crash and then you eat more sugar and then you go up. And so this is a, a really good thing to do from you know, we try to do this once every three months to six months is to do a cleanse. It's very simple to do. 
and you feel lighter, you feel more energized after after doing a cleanse. Yeah, it's very it's very good for your system to do it periodically. Yeah, here's the probiotics. I tried to get a good picture so you can see what this pill looks like. This pill is in a gel cap and the green part here is actually the probiotics and the clear part is a prebiotic fiber. The prebiotic fiber allows the probiotics to uh, survive through your stomach acid and go into your in, uh, lower intestines to do what they're supposed to do. Many over-the-counter and other probiotics that people buy actually do not have a prebiotic fiber. And so the probiotics die in your stomach acid. And so a lot of times they're not doing your body any good. These probiotics, I will have a personal testimonial. I, when I was going to my naturopath doctor, when she talked to me about my bad stomach, we tried her probiotics. And maybe they worked for a week or two and then they stopped working. I went back to her and said, I don't think these are working. So she gave me another brand. I went through so many different brands. None of them were working. Then I went to, and these were expensive kind. These, we, these had higher numbers of probiotics in them, but they were the wrong, they were the wrong cultures that weren't helping my body. We even have stores where you could buy them that had 50 billion. Uh, CFUs and they it was not helping me, you guys. These are the right cultures and it has the probiotic. And I swear by these. My brother does too. <laughs> They're incredible. The terrazyme digestive enzymes are incredible too for helping break down the food in your stomach. So if you're trying to heal the villi in the stomach lining. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to happen overnight. You can't just take one drop of oil and think it's going to cure you. This is a process. You've been dealing with your stomach for a long time, beating it up over years and years. And so if you can be patient with your stomach and on a daily basis, just help support it with this terrazyme, it will help break the food down in your body so that you can start absorbing those nutrients and start healing the villi. And it's really just a powerful um, powerful product. I think everybody should have too. Okay. So again, this is just supporting the metabolic enzymes for a healthy gut. Okay. Um, here you can take a screenshot of this. This was something I found somewhere that people always ask me, well, what's in the Terrazyme? And here's the, oh, all the different kinds of enzymes in there and how, and what they do to break, um, to help support your body. A lot of the, this is a really good one here because with milk, the protein in the milk is too large of molecules. So this will help people who, who do a lot of milk. And so that's one thing I wanted to point out. This lactose breaks down the, um, the lactose found in milk sugars. So a lot of people in India cook with milk and your beautiful spices and sauces. And um, I believe that, that, that is one reason why there's such a huge number of diabetes in India. I could be wrong, but I think that this is one of the reasons anyway. That's a great slide. Yeah, it is. Um, when I first started doing doTERRA, I didn't pay attention to all those, the specific things. And then as <clears throat> I start to wonder why do these work so well, you really start to dive into the, those details. So again, here's a more deep dive on the Zendocrine products. And um, this is going to help strip out and uh, uh, um, get rid of the unwanted substances in the body. These are, this blend contains rosemary, cilantro. Cilantro is a huge detoxifier for the body with metals. Metals are very heavy in our body. They weigh us down. They rob us of our energy. And juniper berry is also a wonderful detoxifier. Juniper berry also supports emotions with anxiety and panic attacks, um, claustrophobia. Um, it's just really incredible. Again, these are going to help with the kidney function, the liver function, and, um, and it also includes the tangerine and citrus oils, which we know are really uh, good uh, detoxifiers too. So lemon oil is a great way. Here's the way you can take lemon is by drinking lots of water, you guys, and putting two drops in a glass of water 
I, I feel that um, if you were to take your weight in pounds, I don't think this, this formula works in uh, kilograms or, um, but <clears throat> if you were to take your weight in pounds, and divide it in half, that's how many ounces you need to be taking a day. So I'm gonna to need to figure out that formula, convert it. Maybe somebody here can do that for me. <laughs> convert what that would be. Um, oh, in kilograms. Um, Is that what you're talking about? In kilograms, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say if you weighed 150 pounds, you should drink 75 ounces of water. Yeah, so 7,500 kilograms would be 75 ounces of water. I, I don't know how to convert that. Okay, so Joseph is saying 30, 300 uh, milligrams per okay. kilo. Okay, that works. Thank you, Joseph. And Sagar's asking, how do how does terazyme, how you take terazyme? I take terazyme, I try to take it a half an hour before each meal. I keep them in my purse, so if I'm out and about and I go to a restaurant, I know I'm gonna need to take some. So before I order, when I sit down, I'll take two pills. And I know that it's going to help my stomach break down the, the sauces and things that I'm not used to. And um, so if you take two pills with each meal, if you have a really bad stomach, um, you can just take one in the morning too, if you feel, or one in the afternoon, it doesn't matter really, but they talk about taking one in the afternoon without a meal will help really work on the body too. So you can, you can just pretty much, if you're feeling tired and lethargic, that's a, um, what you can do. Another question Joseph is asking, how do you take um, the Zendocrine? So it depends on which one. Now we can go back to the chart here. I'm going to go back to that, that um, chart. This is just one chart. You will find many different charts, but this is the Zendocrine soft gels. Um, when you're doing a detox, so if you're focusing on the detox, you can take the soft gels three a day, one in the morning, one at noon, and one in the evening. And with the oil, you would want to, it's basically the oils, the, the gel form is the oil. So if you wanted to put the oil in a gel capsule and do the same thing. Now, I also <coughs> love, love, love to take the, um, the Zendocrine oil and put it in a blend. I'll sh I wish I had a picture of that. I need to add that. Oops go back here. Sorry about that, you guys. But the Zendocrine oil is really flexible. You can put it in a diff diffuser. Remember, you can take these oils three different ways. You can take them um, aromatically. When they go into your body, you're breathing that in. Remember, one of our um, elimination areas of toxins is in your lungs. And so if you were breathing in the Zendocrine, you'll get it that way. The smell is okay. I mean, I it's it's not a it depends. It's a personal thing with, a personal with, thing. with, with um, aromatics. Yeah. Especially um, internals, like if you're going to put it in the roof of your mouth or something like that. Yeah. Some some of these oils, like this one has cilantro. Now, Larry loves cilantro. I am not a cilantro fan. I really actually, sh it's interesting because I really should be doing cilantro all the time with my bad stomach, right? Um, but if I do a, a really cool thing, so after I am, um, so your skin is another area where you can eliminate the toxins. So what you can do is you can take a skin brush and before you shower, brush all over your body and get rid of the dead skin cells. Take a shower, wash them off. And then after you're out of the shower, I have a, wa a bottle that's about four ounces and I put 30 drops of Zendocrine in that along with some Slim and Sassy. And, and then I fill up the rest of it with like avocado oil. I tend to not use fractionated coconut oil because it does dry my skin out a little bit more, but maybe other people it doesn't. So that would be an oil of choice. I fill the rest of the bottle. I use this like a lotion and I, I rub it all over my body to be able to help get that Zendocrine in my body. And I think this is a huge way you can also use the Zendocrine oil. I hope that answered your question, Joseph. If you are going to take Zendocrine internally with your own um, gel cap, would you think taking it like you would a soft gel, would it be one or two drops in, in gel cap? I would do two drops. Two drops. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's body sizes are different. So if you're a little person, I would maybe just do one drop. If you're a bigger person, maybe like um, bigger than Larry kind of person, 
then I would do two or maybe even consider three drops. It really depends on your focus and where you're going with, with your goals. If you have health issues that you really want to address, then I would maybe do two drops. You One drop is enough for um, an average size person, but if you're really focusing on things, maybe you can add two and see how that goes. Just test it out, um, definitely. Okay, so we went and did that one. Now again, here are some essential oils and here are different ways you can actually address the um, using oils to do a cleanse. So like Larry was talking about the gel capsule, you can add these oils to the, the lotion, uh, to the oil blend that I was talking about after I shower. Um, lots of different ways you can focus on. Grapefruit essential oil is really a wonderful oil to help um, with your blood sugar levels. So this is something that if people are dealing with diabetes, I would focus on some of those oils. And when people, as you're new, maybe some of you are guests here today, and I'm not going through and talking about what lemon oil specifically does, because there's so many benefits and so many different ways to help um, with that. And we like to, um, we have apps on your phone that you can go through and look at and study each oil. We like to look at each person as an individual conversation and ask, what are the, all the things that you're dealing with? And what are all the things that you want to focus on? And then we can help you look at different oils. And as you start to learn about the oils, you will find this whole plethora, this whole uh, amazing world of essential oils that you can look into. Slim and Sassy is a really good oil to help promote metabolism. It helps curve sugar cravings. So if you're looking at wanting to, to help with the weight, this is a really good one. Look, you guys, this one also helps lift your mood. All of our essential oils will address emotions. And this one is a really good uplifter and, um, and a good stimulant for your body, okay? And we have the Slim and Sassy and Soft Gels for convenience. Again, the Soft Gels will not be available in India. Um, so you want to be able to uh, consider the Metabolic Blend. I didn't check, is Slim and Sassy on the list? Maybe somebody can check for me and see if Slim and Sassy is on the list. I, I kind of... That's a questionable one. I don't remember. So to do this one, you can take it internally by taking three to five drops in water, morning, afternoon, evening. It's another way you can diffuse it. And we like to, again, this is another technique that I like to use. You can buy this hand and body lotion and you can add some drops in your hand with the lotion and you can help you get rid of the cellulite on your body. I would need a gallon of that, I think. <laughs> but again, you're just massaging and in, 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 in kind of moving the lymphatic system um, while the oils are just absorbing into the, into the body. Again, it helps you with the sugar levels too. So if you're wanting to lose weight, you can't be having sugar and expect these oils to be helping you, right? That they're not, they're going to be fighting against each other. So if you really want to get ahead of it, uh, look at what your diet is and go with that. This is another product that is a peppermint. Um, you know, I, I don't know if many, has anybody in India tried this product yet? It's actually peppermint and you can take it internally and it's incredible for uh, helping with intestinal discomfort. So um, this would be a fun one to practice and play with too, you guys. So now we've also talked about these targeted wellness programs and this, um, they came out with a digestive kit in January you get a nice little pill casing and it comes with peppermint oil, digestion. I'll do a deeper dive, but this is a nice way if people don't know what they want to order or if they know what they're working on, you're gonna to want to look at, like maybe they're dealing with emotional upset during this pandemic times. Maybe they've lost loved ones, which many people have. It's really good to be helping and focus on your, <clears throat> your excuse me, your mind and your mood. Immunity building, everybody should have this kit. And um, I was, since we're talking about, about gut health, um, I wanted to go through that a little deeper, but I wanted to show that again, we are only a month or two opening up in India and we will not be shipping anymore from United States. So I really want you guys to jump on these kits if you can and take advantage of them while they're still available so you can actually help target some of those, those things, okay? Here is the digestive wellness program. 
And the first month you would get this kit and the second month you would get this kit and the third month you would get this kit. So again, we're hoping doTERRA will open up sooner than that. But, and what's so great about those kits is we have what's called the loyalty reward program. This loyalty reward program helps you get deeper discounts every month that you're placing an order. So if you place an order month one, month two, month three, if you're having a wholesale membership or wellness advocate membership, every hundred product value points you get, you spend, you'll get 10 back. Month four, month five, month six, you get 15% back. This is a huge savings. So when people are saying, oh my gosh, maybe the oils might be a little out of my price range. Well, doTERRA wants to reward you for being more loyal and you will get 30% back after a year's time. This is the gold ticket for having a really great benefit of having the doTERRA loyalty reward program. And that's where these kits really work. So month one, month two, month three, after these three months, you're going to be receiving 15% back, you guys. So that's really a nice uh, way to help introduce the oils and help people understand if they're focusing on their gut health, which if you haven't learned anything yet from this class, everybody has gut issues. <laughs> um, so it's a nice way to get started. Now, another thing um, down here on this chart, we're going to talk about um, to maintain the loyalty reward points, you want to at least place an order every month. It could be just one product value point, which is nothing, right? And then to increase the ladder, to keep moving up the ladder every month, you want to at least do 50 product value points. If you're doing the business opportunity to earn commissions, you're going to want to do 100 product value points. And between the first and the 15th of each month, if you do 125 product value points, you will get a free oil. And I believe this month at Centronella. And so that's incredible. So how do you get started with doTERRA? Well, you can buy full price if you want. We, we, we don't mind that. That's great. But also um, you can order and join doTERRA and get a wholesale membership. And that's 25% below retail price. And who doesn't want that, right? Your membership is free if you have an order and enrollment kit. And you also can take advantage of the loyalty reward benefits. Right now, we are signing everybody um, up. We're signing everybody up as uh, wellness advocates, and you get to take advantage of the 25% off as well as the loyalty reward benefits, and you can earn an income when you're sharing with others. And that's why we're pre-launching before India opens up is so we can help people build teams. It's an incredible opportunity, and we're so excited to see a lot of the teams growing and doing, doing well. And I know that once India opens up, it's just going to explode. Now, these are the kits that we've been offering over the last six months or so. doTERRA has a lot of different enrollment kits. And um, there's a simple solution kit that comes with a deep blue product, which is like for pain and sore muscles. It comes with lemon, on guard, and serenity. This uh, is a really wonderful kit. Very affordable. We in the United States need to... People keep texting me on my phone. Sorry about that. Um, we want to be, uh, we have to pay sales tax in the United States. So we published it with uh, uh, the cost without sales tax and the cost with sales tax. I kind of hate doing that because it really screws people up a little bit. We want to have you um, go ahead and look at all the United States prices. And then you can add the sales tax in the United States because that configuration comes out more accurately. And then, um, then you can have the full total that way and convert it to Indian rupees because the Indian rupees is changing daily um, because of the pandemic, the war and all the supply chain issues. It just keeps, uh, it's very unreliable right now. <clears throat> well, exchange rates do change all change, the time. Change yeah. every few hours, I think. Yeah, and then, right, Joseph, we also wanna add, we are charging 750 Indian rupees for, shipping from United States to India. And um, so that cost helps quite a bit, even though it's just a small portion of it. Um, we appreciate you, your commitment to helping us get the oils there to, to, to India. It also will cover a portion of the customs fees and all that. So you can look and see that we came up with different kits here. 
Now, the Home Essentials Kit is still available on the website, but they changed the diffuser on it. And the diffuser is a really heavy, nice quality diffuser, and it's too heavy for us to ship. It doesn't make it affordable anymore. And so we have other options for you. What you can do um, is you can actually design your own kits. doTERRA came out with a promotion over the next couple months that you can order any of the kits like this cleanse and restore kit is not an enrollment kit. These are specific enrollment kits, but you can order these other kits and they will qualify as free enrollment. And so right now during these next two months, it's really incredible. The cost is uh, around $9.50, Joseph, for the courier charge in United States dollars. Um, so if we were to look at the Cleanse and Restore Kit, this is the one we talked about in class today. It's around 2,700 Indian rupees, including tax. I think I did add tax to that. Again, a lot of people like to order additional oils and stuff. So go ahead and look at the United States price and add those oils in the United States price and then convert it to Indian rupees. That's probably the best way to go. But if you order this kit, they waive the enrollment fee, which is normally $35 or around 2,400 Indian rupees. Another way to take advantage of a custom kit is maybe, um, unfortunately you have to buy just one each month. They won't let you buy all three in one month. So start out with a digestive kit. And this is just a more economical way of getting these products, you guys. And you get these fun little, little bags and kits that you can't buy normally. And hopefully you can get to kit number two where you get this wonderful, beautiful glass or cup, this metal cup that's just really cool, I love it. And um, that would be really fun. And then you can add more items. One of the cool things about these targeted kits is you can, when you click on it, you can actually get the peppermint soft gels for a discount. Look at they're normally $14.40. You get them for $12. Um, check it out. You're getting these oils at a discounted price. And so that's a really fun way to increase more products in your, in your um, inventory and um, have that. So really encourage you guys to do that. Now, a new kit that doTERRA came out is the Roma Touch kit, which we're really super excited about. I don't know how many of you came to my uh, Aroma Touch demonstration that I did in uh, several different cities. I think I did it in three different cities. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, what's really cool about purchasing this kit, you guys, is you get the deep blue in a 15 mil bottle. We've never, ever in eight years, me being with doTERRA, I've never seen the deep blue in a 15 mil bottle. All of these oils come in 15 mil and you get a fractionated coconut oil with a pump. It comes with a pump, which is really super awesome. And um, you get a $97 Aroma Touch certification course where you can go through um, weekly, daily, however fast you wanna take the course. It's a self-guided course for free. So this is huge. This is really a cool way to introduce the aroma touch technique and you're, maybe you're a, a yogi, maybe you're someone who does massage as a business. Maybe you have someone who is dealing with cancer or other health issues that doing this aroma touch technique is a beautiful way to introduce these eight oils over a series of 40 minutes on the body. And it's incredible. So a nice way to join doTERRA with that. And you can also design your own kit. Like I threw these oils together just to kind of give you an idea of how to design your own kit if you wanted. Okay, so I, just real quick, as we're running out of time, we have Mother's Day specials available, which is a beautiful blend called Yarrow Palm. Yarrow Palm is the Yarrow family. Um, and the Yarrow family is a blue oil, believe it or not, even though the flower is yellow. Um, this, I should have put, yellow flowers on here. Didn't think about that. But it also includes the pomegranate. You guys, globally around the world, doTERRA is the first company that has designed an essential oil and infused it with a nutrient called pomegranate. And so this is just a very beautiful way to help uh, with cleansing your skin and purifying your skin and helping with those wrinkles and all that good stuff. And this comes with a, a cool little thing that you help with um, rubbing on your skin. And then we get this beautiful oil called the Milana. And if you go on the website, 
and type in this. And there's a wonderful video that's all spoken in Hawaiian language. And Larry and I have been on that property where they, they grow the sandalwood trees. We got to plant some of the sandalwood trees. It's so exciting. And this is one of those uh, wonderful initiative trips that you can take advantage of as you grow your business. Um, and it also comes with a pilot diffuser, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I wanted to just say that our next shipment time frame will be cut off as uh, April 15th. So you have another week, you guys, to get your orders in. And then we'll be shipping it on the 20th. So it probably won't get to India until towards the end of the month. And again, I really want to encourage you guys to be on the class, on the meeting class on um, Thursday, a week from today after the introduction class, so that that way we can learn what's happening in India. Maybe they'll make some exciting announcements and we'd love to hear that. So let's see, do we have any questions? I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.